loves, thanks for joining me today. So those of you who have been around on my channel for quite some time know that I am a very proud cloth diapering mama to a one-year-old baby. There were so many factors that went into my decision to cloth diaper, such as the monetary savings that we would receive. We have bought all the diapers we will ever have to buy for our baby and for any other babies we have. I will never have to buy diapers again and that is such a relief. Such a relief, guys. In addition, of course, cloth diapering is much better for the environment. You are significantly reducing waste by making the decision to cloth diaper. And one of my friends was mentioning the decision that she made to cloth diaper because she has a son with pretty severe allergies and she noticed that when she stopped using disposable diapers and went purely to cloth diapering that he had significantly less reactions. And so just that one component alone, just switching from disposable diapers to cloth diapers has given her son with severe allergies so much more relief. And so a lot of these things sound great. Why not cloth diaper? It's gonna save me money. It's gonna save the environment. There are also health benefits to cloth diapering. But one of the main questions, yeah, yeah, she can tell you. She loves her cloth diapers. But one of the main questions I get, which is a good one, is what is this going to cost me as far as time is concerned? Because Compared to disposables, cloth diapers are not going to save you on time. So you're going to save money, you're going to save the environment, but you're going to cost on time. And I actually did not want to make this video because I am so all in with cloth diapers that I hated the fact that there actually is a con instead of it just being a full list of pros. But, I decided to be completely transparent and completely honest with you guys. And for any of those of you out there who are considering cloth diapering, you really want to know what you're getting yourself into because it will cost you a little more time than disposable diapers with. Probably not as much as you think, but it is a good question to ask you know, how much time is this going to take away from me spending with my family or just having alone time? Because we all know that as new moms, we don't get a lot of alone time and quality time to ourselves. And so I made this video for you guys and I'm going to detail start to finish exactly how much time it takes me every week to prepare and clean my cloth diapers. If that sounds like something that interests you, please stick around. Okay, so first off we are just reaching for the draft. This is my go-to. I always use this when I cloth diaper. Um, there is one other that I actually do use, but I mostly use draft. I also use OxyClean. This gets most of the stains out of the diapers as well as killing the stink. I always use OxyClean. And so I just turn the washer up on heavy duty as high as it'll go. I let it work as hard as it's willing to work. <laughs> I use the second rinse that's really good for again getting any stains out or stink and I put it on the full load even if I don't have quite a full load of diapers it's really helpful to have that extra water in the washer um, because you will be leaving these to soak so I use one scoop of OxyClean and then for the laundry detergent, it's recommended for cloth diapers that you use half of whatever the recommended amount would be for regular laundry. So this is considered a full load, um, therefore I use um, a half load of the laundry detergent. Fill it all the way up. Look at those bubbles. I always use gloves because let's face it, not using gloves when you are washing cloth diapers would be gross. <laughs> I'm just taking the hamper out of my daughter's closet. As you can see, I was trying to get a really accurate representation of what it would be to do half of our stash. So I actually waited a little too long in this case and the hamper was overflowing. I also had a wet bag because we had been traveling. So I had a lot of diapers to do. This actually may have been more than half of our stash. 
What I'm doing now is just taking all the inserts out of the pocket diapers, separating all of the pre-folds from the covers, and um, just making sure that all the diapers are getting nice and saturated in the water. And now you see me here just sanitizing the empty hamper with some bleach water and giving it a good wipe down before I let it dry and then return it back into the closet. So this whole process of taking all the diapers out of the hamper, filling the washer, and then wiping it down takes a total of 11 minutes. So after the diapers finished washing, some of them went into the dryer and anything with elastics actually went out onto the drying rack outside. Putting everything into the dryer took about six minutes and hanging everything up on the drying rack outside took about seven minutes. After that, it takes everything on the drying rack, um, depending on what it is, a day or two to dry. Um, the all-in-ones that are really thick usually take two to three days to dry if it's overcast. Um, if it's a really hot, sunny Florida day, then maybe um, a day and a half or so. Um, but most of the diapers that I have are thinner, like pocket diapers, and so those will very easily dry in just a day. Now you can see I'm just taking all the diapers out and I'm stuffing all the pocket diapers, putting the inserts back in. Now I am buttoning all of them up so that it makes them really easy to put them in the basket and then back into the drawer. Now stuffing the diapers and buttoning them up, that is probably the most time consuming part. Well, actually it is the most time consuming part. Um, and that took me a total of 23 minutes. And definitely the easiest and least time consuming part of the process is putting everything away. It takes me a total of three minutes. If you would like to see how I have everything organized, I will leave the video for that linked above. Okay, so as you can see, it takes me anywhere from 50 minutes to an hour and a half every week to launder and put away my cloth diapers. I of course didn't add in the time it takes them to actually like sit in the wash and wash because that's not something I'm having to physically do. That's not taking any time away from me personally. So I didn't add that in. The time that I actually spend physically touching and sanitizing, laundering the cloth diapers is anywhere from 50 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. You may say that's a big time gap, but keep in mind in this video, I did half of my stash. So it took me 50 minutes to do half of my stash. If you were to double that, you would get an hour and 40 minutes. So you could say, if I were to do my whole entire stash, it would take me about an hour and 40 minutes as opposed to 50. But it actually would take you less time if you were doing your whole stash at one time. So it would take about twice that amount of time. 50 plus 50 equals an hour and 40 minutes but it would be a little bit less because just not taking that break and doing everything without stopping actually saves you a significant amount of time. And just in case you guys didn't believe me, I actually tried this out. I waited a whole week and I had a lot of diapers to do at one time, but I did save about 10 minutes. So instead of it being an hour and 40 minutes, it was an hour and 30 minutes. So. On the high end of doing diapers every week, I spend about an hour and 30 minutes if I do all of the diapers at one time, but that's very rare. So I would actually say, because my stash lasts me, hello, so because our stash does last us longer than a week, it usually takes us about an hour every week and that's the time commitment that we have toward cloth diapering. So. I wanted to be really upfront and honest with you guys about this video. I want you to consider also if you're saying, you know, as a mom, an hour makes a big difference. I don't get a lot of time to myself. I don't want to make a decision that's going to take time away from my personal time or even equally importantly, um, the time that I get with my family. I don't want to spend my extra time cloth diapering. If that's the song that you have playing over and over again in your head, I want you to consider that disposable diapers are also a time commitment. 
You may not see it up front, but it takes time to go to the store and get diapers, or if you run out, you have to put clothes on and make this emergency trip to the grocery store. Ah, you're pulling my dress down. Not to mention the time it takes to unload the diaper genie every week or unload the trash because you will be unloading a lot more trash if you use disposable diapers. Let me know what questions you guys have or if you have any requests for other videos. I would love to con hey, I would love to converse with you in the comments section. Yeah, her too. All right. I hope you have your best day ever. We will see you next time. Bye. Say bye bye. Can you look there? Say bye. 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 Very good. Bye, guys. And if you think of those extra trips you're making to the grocery store and those extra trips you're making to the trash can, then that time actually. Uh, I would love to. Hey. This is her show.